सो लेट्स द रिव्यू ऑफ हैवा को एस फोर पॉइंट फाइव ट्वेंटी सेकेंड में अपडेट ऑन पोको एक्स टू इन दिस वीडियो आई ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेन यू हैव टू इंस्टॉल दिस रूम एंड डू नॉट स्किप द इंस्टॉलेशन आई ट्राई टू इंस्टॉल द रूम नॉर्मली बट आई फेस मैनी एर फर्स्ट लेट्स द रिव्यू ऑफ द रूम लेट्स गिप टू द अबाउट फोन एज कैन सी द एंड्रोजन इज एंड्रोड इलेवन द सिक्योरिटी पे एज ऑफ फाइव मी द कर्लोजन इज फोर पॉइंट फोर्टीन कर्नल सिग्मा कर्नल फाइव पॉइंट जीरो and the build date is may 21 now let's see some customizations in network and geo down here you get 4g color is volt and it's working fine as you can see down here you get wifi calling in hotspot you get the same option but down here you get allow client to use vpn on hotspot and connect devices and connection preferences you get bluetooth cast printing far receiver bluetooth chrome book driving mode and nearby share and the main customization is the configuration center In this, you get tons and tons of customizations. So, in this bar, you get clock, in clock, you get auto hide, hide duration, show duration, clock position, in PM style, show seconds, etc. In date, you get date style, date format, date position, etc. In logo, when you enable it, as you can see logo. In this, you get logo position and logo style. In gestures, you get brightness control, double to sleep. In network, you get network speed. In this, when you enable it, you get location, display mode, auto hide, and refresh interval. Then you get career label. In this, you get location and custom text. In battery, you get icon style, battery percentage, and battery bar. In battery bar, when you enable it, you get location, alignment, thickness, charging animation, custom charging color, color, charging color, etc. In icons, you get status icons. At the last, you get notification count. In QS, you get quick pull down, smart pull down, battery estimates. Trend style. Then you can choose the rows and columns in portrait and archive mode. Down you get tile title, setting icon, running service icon, and edit icon. In lock screen you get double to sleep. In interface you get status bar, QS and charging info. In ambient display you get battery level, always on. In always on you get when you enable it you can set a schedule. Then you get always on and charging, new notifications, music ticker etc. In gestures you get double tap. pick up hand wave pocket etc in button navigation you get navigation bar and this you get navigation that is the navigation two button and three button and it's working fine now just are selected the back button home button and recents as you can see it's working fine even the two button as you can see now our comes even three button as you can see it's working fine and in gesture and settings you get left edge right edge dead zone Gesture bar length and additional settings. You get extended sub action, long left sub action, and long right sub action. In button navigation, you get volume key action, that is the swap keys, wake device, answer call, and keyboard cursor control. In gestures, you get system gestures. In this, you get quickly open the camera navigation. In this, you get same options. Can you get left to check phone, prevent ringing, power menu. In this, you get device control, advanced restart, and sensitive content. And you get quick torch, skip music tracks, and the living screenshot. In notifications, you get edge lighting. In this, when you enable it, you get show always, show on every, hide on every, light color, light view, light duration, etc. Then you get head up. In this, when you enable it, you get timeout, snooze timer, less boot notifications, disable app launch, add app to stop list, and add app to blacklist. In miscellaneous, you get notification header. Kill app button, noise notifications, etc. In battery saving, you get suspend actions. When you enable it, you get screen off action delay, screen on action delay, switch to 2G, switch to 3G, disable mobile data, disable GPS, etc. Then you get block sensors. Add a sensor block for package. In aggressive battery, you get auto enable or battery saver. In this, you get aggressive idle and aggressive standby. In media, you get adaptive playback, music visualizer. In this, when you enable it. Add location, render mode, color mode, custom color, animation smoothing, bar width, bar spacing, etc. Then you get media artwork and media artwork blur level. In miscellaneous, you get gaming mode. In this, when you enable it, you get block notifications, disable auto-add brightness, ringer and gaming mode, gaming mode indication, dynamic mode, and add app for gaming mode. Then you get screenshot type that is full and partial. In charging, you get wake device and charging animation. And about section for Havoc OS, as you can see, there are tons and tons of customizations. In battery, you get battery saver. 
and this you can handle schedule and turn off and charge then you get adapt to charging when you turn it on you get restriction mode that is battery percentage or battery temperature or both now percentage selected so you can set the stop level and start level and you can reset battery stats battery temperature and this you get stop level and start level that is device will stop charging when device is overheated and you can set for both that is everything enabled and the battery life is pretty good i got around 7 hours to run on time in display you get brightness level by dark theme night light adaptive brightness and style wallpaper in wallpaper you can choose the wallpaper in styles you can choose the accent color font type etc and in clock you can choose the lock screen clock and you get many options as you can see in live display you get reading mode and color calibration in colors you get natural boosted adaptive and saturated down here you get lock screen and this you get notification on lock screen at text on lock screen show lockdown option always show time and info left to check phone wake screen for notifications etc then you get double to wake prevent accidental shell touch and ambient display in ambient display when you turn it on you get always on gesture wake up gesture pick up gesture hand wave gesture and pocket gesture and sound you can choose the media sounds down here you get vibration and haptics in this you get vibrate for calls and call haptics touch vibration and you can choose the vibration pattern down here you get volume steps and at the last you get direct sound and answer and you turn it on you can choose the headphone type and a preset and here you also have an option of enable hi-fi and security you get screen lock and fingerprint you don't get option of face unlock in recent you get screenshot clear roll and share now let's check the Geekbench score the single core score is 372 and the multi core score is 1169 now let's check the safety net and run test as you can see it's passed in DRM info down here as you can see a wide one element is working fine now let's check the play store notification in play store and settings in our section the last as you can see device is certified in this you get a stock launcher customizations like home screen in this you get allow workspace added at a glance google feed top gradient icon label multi label always center wallpaper and home rotation in app drawer you get hidden apps icon label in portrait icon label in landscape and multi label in grid you get dog icon column and rows in icons you get icon pack icon size notification dot and add app icon to home screen in gestures you get double tap to sleep gesture swipe down gesture and swipe down to clear roll gesture and this you get anx camera that is mios stock camera and it's working fine as you can see even in a more section and 61 view mode as you can see it's working fine now let's check the call working or not As you can see, the call is working super fine. Now let's check the installation. So to install this ROM, first boot to recovery and wipe dial wake data and cache. And then flash the Android 11 vendor and ROM. This ROM doesn't include the gaps, so you have to flash it separately. But do not flash the gaps now. First install the ROM and reboot. Once you have booted normally, reboot to recovery and then flash the gaps and then reboot. After rebooting, disable the Android setup. If you flash the gap with the ROM, and reboot. When you will reboot the ROM, the Android header will keep crashing continuously and you will can't use the phone. So follow the process I have shown and the ROM will be installed and the ROM is very smooth. I didn't face a major bug. Thank you so much for watching. I'll meet you in the next one.